everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shaitan Girl and Miss Kalulu just went that way because she's gonna go get a toy and probably come over here and make a lot of squeaky noises because she knows mommy's getting ready to record. That's just how it rolls. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing well. It's cold here in the Hudson Valley this morning. We've been having snow since last night. I'm gonna give out a uh, shout out to Thrifty Tiffany because <laughs> they had, it was yesterday they had snow in Georgia. So I'm like, oh my gosh, if it's snowing in Georgia, she needs to keep it there. And now it's been snowing ever since I said that. So thank you, Tiffany, for the snow. Hugs and kisses, love ya. <laughs> um, I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. And here comes Miss Kalualu with that squeaky thing I was telling you about. Um, it's been a little crazy of a week, I'll be honest with you. Uh, just gonna do a little bit of chat before I jump into this haul. My world is just, there's just a lot of things going on. Uh, just keeping it real, there's a lot of things going on in my life right now. Uh, medically wise, uh, personal wise, family wise and it's just been a lot for me to take on um i do have issues with depression i put it out there i'm not embarrassed about it i'm not ashamed about it um it's real it has been my whole entire life um i'm on uh, five different medications including blood pressure medications and you know i do the best i can to eat healthy and you know i smoke and that's probably something i need to stop doing but right now um, I guess it's better than sitting at the bar and drinking, you know, I don't know. Um, at this point, there's just lots going on. So for all of you that have been asking, you know, what's up, uh, you know, what's going on, you're here and then you disappear for a couple of days. I just don't want to like air my dirty laundry, I guess, so to speak. But um, so many of you have become more than just subscribers your family to me um and you all know who you are and <laughs> okay i don't really want to sit here and cry i have put on some makeup and i'm doing my best to hold it together um from here up from what you can see you know i might appear quite normal and then again i don't know what normal is anymore but um on the bottom i'm not gonna lie i'm sitting here in uh my pajamas and my footsie socks and my purple slippers you know, I'm just <clears throat> got a lot of stuff going on. And when you're in a depressive, it's, it's hard to talk about. It's just hard to talk about. Um, I guess, you know, I'm not trying to put a downer on this DT haul. I just wanted to explain myself a little bit and uh, let you know that, you know, life is real. And uh, sometimes shit happens. Okay, so I'm going to take a sip of coffee and we're going to totally change gears. Bear with me one moment. Alrighty. Let's do a swap now. This will be my like bipolar. <laughs> Snap. Okay. Dollar Tree haul. Oh my goodness. I found so many cutesy cutesy things. I don't even know where to begin. So I'm just going to dive right in. I hope you're all doing well. For those of you that have and say your prayers, so many of us out here oh my goodness my list is growing debbie mary leah barbara helen judy uh there's so many of you uh wendy everybody is going through some crap so when you're walking down the street and you think everything is just all sweet peaches and perfect probably not and that's life and it's just how we choose to deal with it and sometimes we go shopping at dollar tree to make us feel Butter, and that's exactly what I did. All right, so Valentine's Day. Holy crap, that's, is that this Friday? It's Friday. Ooh, okay. I didn't realize it was that close already. My bad on me. Okay, uh, I purchased this container at Dollar Tree. This is really cute, and for the dollar, I thought this could be male or female. It really doesn't matter. You know, it's just got the little hearts, the conversation hearts that say love and X's and O's. This container holds, that's a very good question, Beth. It, um, I don't have that answer, so I'll measure it for you. It's five inches by seven, but I tell you, you could probably get a couple pounds of something in here. It's got a nice lid that kind of snaps on, so it, you're gonna hear 
a click like that, which I thought was great. And these are pretty. By the time you put something in here, whether it be homemade chocolate chip cookies or whatever, I happen to be <clears throat> goaling my goal for today. This is not fruit. Excuse, you cannot just come in and just, um, excuse me. Yes, just mommy. But mommy's filming. Yes, good morning, hello. Do you wanna say hi to your family out here? No, 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 let's, okay, step back, step back, back, back. Keeping it real, keeping it real. Kalua, sit please, sit. Good girl, okay, stay. Let mommy just finish, okay? Just one moment and then you can say hello to everyone, okay? So I got this container because my goal for today, <laughs> nose excluded, Miss Kalua Lou's gotta check everything out. She's so nosy. She just has to, you know, see what's going on. There's nothing in there for you. Really, there's not. You can't, what are you gonna do with the container? Are you gonna take it? You can't take the container. Anyways, um, can you excuse me? Cause you're kind of, yes, I do, I love you. Yes, I do, but mommy's recording. Okay, can you stay for mommy? All right, thank you. Okay, <laughs> keeping it real. <laughs> um, anyways, I have this container. All right, they're gonna be, now she's drinking my coffee. <laughs> I'm telling, I'm serious. She's drinking my coffee. Kalulu, can you go over there, please? Sit, thank you. I'm telling you, <laughs> this, I can't make this stuff up. All right, forget about the container. My goal for today is to try to get some Chex Mix made, my homemade Chex Mix. If you um, watch my channel, you can check out, um, I do believe I have my Chex Mix recipe. For you guys to see okay moving on are you just gonna be a pain in the butt right i found some new candles and i did first see these shown let me get them all out here because i think miss kalu is gonna make me crazy in this video okay i think oh no i got more okay so let's start right here i have not seen anyone haul these yet but I honestly have not watched a lot lately only because I got so much going on. So these are glass candles. These are three ounces and this is so cute and I'm hoping you're gonna be able to see it. This scent is from the Rose Collection Fresh Linen and it does, it has that fresh linen smell. Let me turn it around here and there it is. Can you see right there? It says pure bliss so it's glass and now the design is all the way around but the saying is just on the one side but it's so so pretty so i found this one i found this one here which i thought was super cute this one is poinsettia and fur i'm not quite sure what fur is supposed to smell like fur Oh, maybe like a fur. Will you stop drinking mommy's coffee? You're gonna get sick like you're crazy enough as it is. Wait, that. Okay, <laughs> here's what it says. It says, Fabu Lash. And there it is. I thought this was super adorable. Oh my gosh, Clue. She's just like running around like a maniac. She's just, I swear she throws me off on purpose and I feel so bad because I don't want to sit and like edit every 30 seconds and I don't want to lock her out of the room either because I feel bad about that too. Um, but she's a hoot. The third design I found in the glass candles. Are you guys ready? I'm like, OMG. Donuts! Donuts! Oh my gosh, donuts! Look at that. For those of you that like your donuts, like I do, all the way around, isn't that adorable? And the scent is three ounces, glass, and it's vanilla. And it does smell like vanilla. I don't even really like waste my time in the store to smell candles, because to be quite honest with you, there's so many funk smells going on at Dollar Trees. I don't know about in your areas, but in mine, I don't think you'd really get the true smell, to be honest, anyways. So I did get four of those because, you know, I can't just have one. And usually I have to have two of everything. But in certain situations, you have to have four of them. <laughs> so, yeah, I have four all together. So, yeah, I was a bit of a <clears throat> candle. I was kind of whoring it up down the candle aisle. Okay, now they do have these other candles which are adorable and 
I just went crazy. Let me make sure I have all the designs for you. I wasn't like pre-ready where I tried to get everything together for all of you because I try to be as organized as possible. But when you have a dog who insists on digging through your laundry basket of new treats, she gets it all messed up. These are tin. They are so cute. I want to say these are probably three ounces as well. These are by the Fresh Picked Candle Company. Uh, uh, uh. These are soy candles, three ounces. And this one is macaroons. Here's the container. And there's what it looks like all the way around. Isn't that beautiful? And then there it is on the inside. Soy candles do tend to burn better and smell better because it's just a different type of wax you're burning, in my opinion. And oh my gosh, does it smell good. So I did purchase a couple of these. Again, this is what the design looks like. You can also do this with any candle, whether whatever container it's in. You don't want the candle in there or you've burned it. You take it, pop it in your freezer for about 15 minutes. The wax freezes, boink, pop it right out. You could use this as a container for jewelry, use it for potpourri, you know, put it in your bathroom, put potpourri in it. That's a beautiful container. Love it to pieces. So got me a couple of those. Then I found the version with cupcakes, actual cupcakes. Kahlua really, and this is an Auntie Linda toy. Yeah, it figures, Auntie Linda, see? So we have a cupcake all the way around. And there's your front. I can't, I can't make this stuff up. This one, it smells like cupcake, but there's a nut. What is it that I'm thinking? You guys sniff. How many did it? How many of you did it? Come on, you know you did. I can't, I want to say it's almost got like a gingerbread or something. I don't know, but I love the container, so I don't care. At this point, I'm just loving these containers. I think they're absolutely adorable. I think if I swivel my camera over there, I'm starting to fill up that white three-tiered tray um, because I had the black one and I needed a white one, so now I have a black one and a white one. Um, sh Anyways, these would look cute up on the three-tiered tray. Um, just suggestions. Last but not least, so I showed you... Where is it? Where is it? Where did I put it? Oh, my goodness. Yes. Okay, the favorite one. I think this is my most favorite. This one is donuts. Yes, I have to sing it. I don't know why. I just do. Sing it. Kalua donuts. Absolutely love this container. So pretty much you guys know how I roll donuts. So I not just one, got me two, three, four more on the floor. Hey man, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Okay, so donuts. And these do smell, <clears throat> excuse me, yummy. Oh, yummy, yummy, like cinnamon roll, yummy. Oh, right out of the oven where you get all that nice, oh, the cream. All that drizzle, yum. Donuts, speaking of donuts, we have by Crayola. I just, this was just too cute. It was just for fun. It's a Crayola felt donut. And basically what it concludes is 26 pieces of felt, a lacing string, and three paper lacing tools. And you can make your little donut. This is so cute. It's great activity for kids. Um, it's just fun. And because it's a donut, of course I had to have it. So yes, I got me a donut. <laughs> okay, I was just thinking I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee and then I said, no, that's probably not a good idea because she's got her spittle all up in it. All right, so let's move on to a couple arts and craftsy kinds of things. I have a little project that I've been doing with rolling pins. Um, it was kind of like a decoration thing I saw on Pinterest and I said, I can do that. And I just did it in a different way. And um, it's a DIY that I'm thinking of showing all of you <laughs> at some point. But anyways, that's what this is for. So to, to make a long story short, uh, I'll be using this on my next DIY. So this is the first time I've used these. These are the assorted jot stickers. There's 370 and they're basically the black letters. These are more like the, I would say medium sized letters. They're not gargantuan because I want them to fit on these mini rolling pins that I have that are about, they're about six inches, so they say. Um, 
the rolling pins. And I purchased them at Hobby Lobby. And I kind of, you know, was going on on Pinterest and looking at different ideas for my trays. And you see a lot of people that decorate with uh, those pins. And I thought, you know, gosh, I was looking on Etsy and they're so expensive for one of these little rolling pins was like $24. I'm like, what? Get out of here. There's no way. So I said, okay, took a screenshot and went to the store and bought crafts to do it. So I picked up the, and I didn't realize, I thought you only got one in here. I didn't realize you get six trays and you can see that right up there. I thought you just got one tray and I thought that was a decent deal for a buck, but you get six trays. So I picked me up some painting trays. They're great. You can clean them out if you want to, but if not, they're chuckable. You know, you just ching. All right, like that sound effect? Put ching. All right, this is the Crafters Square, and this is their paint. It's a water base. I've not tried any of these before, so if any of you have warnings for me before I start doing any painting, hit me up down below and let me know. If this stuff sucks, please let me know because I really don't want to go there. Um, these are two fluid ounces. I picked up white, and I picked up this, which is like a pinkish tone, but there, there it is right there. You see that shot? There's some glitter in there, so you can see that glitter. And I thought I had grabbed one more, but I could be wrong. I got caught. Oh, yes, I did. I knew I bought another one. It's purple. Of course. How could I not get purple? And this has a glitter effect in there, too, which I thought was real pretty. It's not crazy. It's subtle, but you can, you can see it if you really take a look at it. All right. I found these pens, and I had no idea what it was. And the cashier I checked out with, she started laughing. And she's like... Are you into these guys? I'm like, I don't even know what the heck it is, to be honest with you. I, I don't even know these characters, but I know it's new, and that's all that mattered, and I'll send them off to somebody back home. So this is a two-pack of the Suicide Squad. Um, I have no idea who these characters are. Uh, I just, <laughs> I have to admit, I was having a brunette moment. I had no idea, but the cashier kind of filled me in, helped me out, let me know who these guys were, so I got me a set of those. I did find a new washi tape, and let me take it out of the package because I think once you get it a reflection of the plastic, it's kind of hard to tell. Like, I need more washi. <sighs> All righty. It's too stinking cute as soon as I flip it the right way. So look at what you have. Little coffee cups and donuts, little candies, macarons, lollipops, or what you could say, uh, popsicles, uh, just little mushrooms, too stinking cute. I wasn't going to pass on that. I don't know what's been going on lately with washi tape out in my area, but the stores, they just kind of suck. They haven't had any decent washi tape for a while. All righty. Oh, my gosh. I know I'm not going to make it through. I shouldn't say that. That's bad. Okay. Who doesn't like Dr. Seuss? Oh, I love Dr. Seuss, and I thought these were super, super cute. I believe... <sighs> I thought I had more, but we'll just keep going. I think I saw Kathy, um, Kathy Donovan. Um, she also has a YouTube channel. And these are the Dr. Seuss collection. And this is a sharpener. It's, oh, I thought it had a magnet on it. My bad. Okay, so basically it's a pencil sharpener, but I also thought there was a magnet on the back of it. So there's the cat in the hat. And these are a pretty decent size. These are three inches in height. So these are a pretty decent size. Um, excuse me, excuse me. No, just, do you think just because there's plastic? No, I love you too. Yes, I know, but honey, mommy's recording, okay? Yes, I love you, okay? Can you sit? I know, I know, mommy's recording, honey. You can't sit on my lap right now, I'm sorry. Okay, everybody, <laughs> can't make this stuff up. The next in the collection is also a sharpener. And they say basically you can sharpen crayons in this because it's supposed to be able to fit up to a size of a crayon. So we have to check it out. Here is the other one in the collection. I don't know exactly how many there are. I'm just showing you the ones that I found. I also found these guys and I'm sorry, now I got fuzzball in my mouth. These guys, this is a big one actually. This one is three and a quarter by three. So this is a pretty decent size magnet. So there's these guys. And I thought, 
Bear with me just a second. I thought there was more. But, oh, wait, here's one. Okay, this one here, the who, Horton, here's a who. Isn't this Horton? Isn't his name Horton? I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is a big one too. So I thought that was cute. Here's what the backside looks like. Again, the holes, they're saying that the hole will fit for crayon. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Where should I go? Where should I go? Oh my gosh. Kit Kats. I do enjoy Kit Kats. My mom loved Kit Kats. My mom, the joke in the house was, my mom would get her Kit Kat bars and she would always keep a couple chocolates or sweets on the table wherever she was in the house, in the family room or in the kitchen, wherever. And we would tease her because I'm the youngest of five kids. And so I used to tease my mom. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm getting emotional because she's not here anymore and she would have loved these. Um, wow, this is like going to be a video. I don't even know how to entitle this video. It's like all over the place. I think you guys are starting to see my bipolar kick out, actually. And yes, I'm laughing and I'm not making fun of anyone. I'm just keeping it as real as real is. I mean, I could take all this out. And for those of you that don't want to hear or see it, you'll choose not to watch it or thumbs down me. And that's your choice. And... I'm just keeping it real. You guys want to know what's going on? These are the things that are going on in my head. The mint Kit Kat bars. My mom used to say that a Kit Kat bar, you can't classify as a candy bar because it's a cookie. <laughs> I was like, all right, mom, any way you want to do it. These don't expire till September of 2020. That's probably why they're at the Dollar Tree. But if I hold it right, it would be better. There you go. These are are so good and if you look in your sales papers for those of you that are out and around these are on sale right now at walgreens three for five dollars three for five bucks and they're a buck at the dollar tree so uh when they come in they fly i grabbed a couple because valentine's day hey you know what happy valentine's day no i don't know you and so what do i have to know you to give you a, a candy bar no okay moving on here, oh, I did find more Dr. Seuss. All right, let's go back to Dr. Seuss for just a second. Hold on. Dr. Seuss incentive bookmarks. You get a package of eight, and they've got all the little critters on here going on. I'm just going to fan them out to show you a little bit. Doesn't mean you have to use them for what they say you can use them for. You use them for anything you want. They're absolutely adorable. How cute are these? Peekaboo. Peekaboo. The number one you can see right through. Sweet, right? Adorable. Okay, let's move on. Um, I'm going to have to change this video and the next half of it is going to have to be about toys. This I was... <laughs> My bad. I was playing in the aisle and I kind of... I think I offended somebody and I didn't mean to. I mean, this was in the store. It's battery operated, so you have to pull the little tab. Okay, and it is the letter rip sound machine. So, <laughs> it's a fart machine, not for you. <laughs> There's six extraordinary sounds, and basically it says, pull the tab and try me. So, um, let's see what the sounds are. And then we have, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Kalu is looking at me like I'm totally losing it. All right, everybody. I'm, um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna. Until next time, everyone, have a wonderful day. <laughs> Pure insanity. I have no idea how to title this video. Love, hugs, and kisses to all of you. And I need to clean up this mess so I can give you another half of video, too, because I have so much more to show all of you. Until next time, everyone, have a wonderful morning. Hopefully, no one put coffee through their nose. 
Uh, hopefully I made somebody smile. Until next time, everyone, Barbara and my sister Lynn will be chatting at you next time. Bye for now.